This is Ronnie Joy, man. Just had a great show from the hot list, man. Had a special guest, Tula from Power 94, man. Tula, tell a little bit about yourself, man. All right, appreciate y'all for having me. I'd like, thank. Uh, I'm just a UTC alumni, uh, communication major, and uh, just wanted to come back and see how the station looks and uh, just offer some uh, advice and feedback on your show. And y'all did a good job, and uh, appreciate y'all letting me come through. Yeah, man. Appreciate really, you. Appreciate you, man. Real yeah, talk. You. We had a lot of different topics today, man. Shaking my head. Cat Williams, what's up with the gun violations, man? Can you keep guns away from you? I mean, but you know that when you put a lot of chemicals in your hair, <laughs> it can affect, you know, it's gonna affect what's his, I mean, I don't know, I'm just saying. Man, he mad, man. man. Kevin Hart took over the comedic game. Can't <laughs> deal with it. Yeah, man. You can't deal with the perm, man. Take it from my guy, Tula. You got it, yeah. Take, natural, take the chemical. Go natural. <laughs> go waves. <laughs> revolution. Yeah. Man, the presidential debate. Woo, got heated. Romney, Obama, clashing. Man, Obama. who's live? Mm -hmm. yeah. We need Obama. we need Chad Nichols on Samuel L. Jackson to be the next time. <laughs> the, uh, the he he would be the perfect person mm -hmm. to uh, moderate the debates. I mean, if he gave Romney that look, like he tried to go over there two minutes. <laughs> and, he gave him, and then the stuff he would say, I'm, I'm serious. We just need to... Yeah, man, we need somebody like Samuel L. Jackson, man. Any other uh, story, Jordan? Man, we got Derek Fisher going back to the Lakers. I'm a Laker fan, so, man, I can't be happy, really. I mean, loyalty, showing loyalty to his family, so me and him cool, me and him still brothers. You know what I'm we down with that. What's uh, he supposed to do, though? <laughs> man, no, I hate on the Lakers, man. I mean, Derek he, Fisher gonna come in. What's he supposed to do? Look at him. He gonna do what he do. My opinion, Derek Fisher, stay where you at. Steve Nash, yeah, like you were finna say, Steve Nash gonna do a way better job than you gonna do. Derek you can't Fisher teach Steve Fisher. Nash nothing. At least with the Oklahoma Thunder, he could at least mentor those younger guys into being better players. All he trying to do is get another ring. I mean, just, I mean. Let him ride the wagon. He's trolling. Whoa, let him ride the wagon? <laughs> yes. Let's not let him take credit for something he doesn't do. <laughs> That's just face. Kobe right hand man. Lance Armstrong, <laughs> shaking my head, tears to my eyes. Sorry for you had to step down from the Live Strong organization, shaking my head. But stay up, man. I have faith in you, uh, even if you did do steroids. And there's no proof of fact that says that you did, but if you did, I'm sorry sure there's an endorsement deal with some kind of steroid company out there. Just find you a steroid company, <laughs> a bodybuilder, you know, something like that, and you can still get money just doing what you do. You know, a needle company, a certain <laughs> needle brand, and you can still make money, dude. Just, just go out there and buy Swash it. Swash crew. Yeah, use Nike as your stepping stool and needle company, steroid company, as your next program. Hey, it'll work. They ain't you. But it's been they a great show, us. man. Yeah, I want before you end the show, I want to say to all these Timberwolves fans watching, Kevin Love is out. It's eight weeks, so first two months of the year, no Kevin Love, period. We also have a big event coming up, man. Election Live, November 6th. We're incorporating a lot of people. Y'all should be there. It's in the UC game room starting at 6 to 12. And you know we have, we gotta end the show, Jordan. Go Mox! These are usually people that we look up to, talk about, and base our lifestyles upon. Musicians, actors, athletes, politicians, business people, even religious figures, shows the society we're shaped in. Our society is built off of these figureheads and spokespeople. Looking at it through a lens, being this public figure with such a following is probably one of the most complicated things a person can ever be in life. Sure, one can get paid a lot, be respected by most, disliked by many. But it's funny to realize that the biggest people are placed under this microscope, like small particles for one to study. They're constantly in the media, sometimes when they don't want to be. They garner a lot of attention from practically everyone, in some cases when they really don't want it. Because of this, they have this reputation, which can make them and break them in the long run. These images we give them, these perceptions, is something of a burden for these people, because here they are doing something they love to do, and here we are supporting them, but at the same time, we're putting them on a pedestal. Look at Tiger Woods, for instance. We all know him to be a great golfer, a married man, good guy, this model citizen with a squeaky clean image. 
I dig this. A couple of years ago, it was reported that we was having extramarital affairs with more than a dozen women across the country. When that happened, there was a platform for open criticism. This image that was given to him, this squeaky clean image, it was practically tarnished. We stopped looking at him as a golfer and started looking at him as this conniving guy that cheats on his wife. For what? Doing things that numerous husbands have been caught doing over the years. But are we really going to endorse more in his personal life over his skill as a golfer? I'm serious. A lot of us don't even know this guy from Adam, but we feel that we have to judge and lose our support over him because of something that he does in his personal life. People see Tim Tebow as this religious messiah over a quarterback. What if he was caught in a scandal? Then what? The media has so much influence on us that we are able to look at people a certain way. And it's usually something beyond what that person is doing. Tiger plays golf. Tim throws a football. Until we become friends with these people, it should be nothing more. Because when we start giving these people all this attention, start placing them on the pedestal, and then they do something out of order, we start feeling a certain way other than how we should be feeling about it. It shouldn't affect us. It definitely doesn't affect me. I'm not Tiger's wife. We have to check our standards. These people came to entertain. What happens in their personal lives just stay personal. You carry a nation on your back and then drop the ball is like dropping millions of people. It's sad to know that it's harder for a public figure to make mistakes and be human. We gotta get our lives right before we indulge in other people.